Hey everyone, this is Alex USA Days. So let's move into the next uh, module. So here we're going to build ClickMe web page. So it's going to be module number four. Uh, and in order to understand how to get locators, how to select elements, I would like to build a little page for us that we can practice on just to see the most generic selectors that you're going to use, how we can do it ourselves. So let's build a simple HTML page to understand HTML structure. Later, we will use this page to practice finding locators. We will need to install Live Server extension in Visual Studio Code to be able to run HTML page locally. Basic HTML structure representation for selecting locators looks something like this. You have an open tag, you have attribute name, then equal and attribute value inside the quotes, and then the opening tag is closing. Then you have some content inside that is displayed to the user, some text, and then you have a closing tag. On the real web page, it will look something like this. So we have a button here, then there is our attribute name ID, and then the attribute value, then the contact is uh, the text on the button, click me, and then you can see the closing tag. All right, let's go ahead and build the page. Okay, so here we are in our project. Uh, we don't have to be in the test folder. We can just be in our folder at the very top. So le learn play, right? Right click, new file. And uh, let's call this click me dot HTML. Uh, typically when someone builds a web page, they have a, a lot of organization to their uh, web page project. So they will have a separate folder for their styles, for the CSS. They will have like a separate folder for their scripts. We're gonna have everything in the one file, very concise and simple, uh, but just follow along, type it out, and I'll try to explain as we go. So we start with an angle brackets opening, and here we need to say doc type HTML. So this is we initializing our web page. We're saying this is gonna be our HTML. Then we need to open another HTML tag, just say HTML, and it auto suggests us the closing tag. So the whole content of the web page will be, to, be between those two tags, open HTML and close HTML tag. Next thing that you want to add is the head. Uh, here inside the head, we put the title for the page. So let's say title and however we want to call our page. So let's say, uh, button click counter. So this is going to be our title for the page. Also here, we're going to put our CSS. So all the design and like the styles for the page. So you want to start style tag, it's going to open close and all the CSS will go in between. So for the body of the text, uh, for the body of the HTML, uh, you put a body and then use parentheses it was in parentheses we have to provide parameters for the for the body so have to use some default font so we'll say font family um, let's do sigoi uh, ui So it has actually out of suggests a, a whole set of texts just the first one let's select this line uh, we need to delete the first ago UI. So here we are done with the font family. And then on the new line, we will do text align. So how we want to align our text, we want it to be center. Next one is our margin for the top. We will give it value 50 pixels. This is like the style and parameters for our body of an, uh, the web page. The next one we will do a body style class so dot body uh, button style button style class so here I will have parameters for our button I did not create the button yet but this is just the CSS the styles for it so but button style and within the button style I need to provide what I want for it so I'll say padding 10 pixels uh, 20 pixels then font size let's do 16 pixels and then cursor oh uh, let's make it pointer okay so this is for our button and the next thing is the counter also i don't have this class yet i'll have to provide it 
uh, as I create the rest of the web page, but I'm just going to create styles uh, beforehand. So counter style and again, open parentheses within parentheses, we need to provide value. So margin top, uh, let's do 20 pixels and then font size, let's do 20 pixels. Okay. So our CSS, our styling for the page is ready. It's going to be inside the head. And now from the head, we're going to move into the body. We can minimize that. Here we will start with angle bracket, type in body, uh, close an angle bracket, and it will give you opening tag and closing tag. So everything else is going to go in here. So the body of... Um, the web page itself. So let's create a button. So that is our tag, right? Opening tag. Then we'll give some ID to this button. So let's call it uh, click button. That's going to be the ID. Let's give it a class. Um, so we used here button style class so this this is the, how it's going to know all the css that we uh allocated for it so we can say class button style button style uh, you don't need the dot here so you, you do need the dot here but you don't need the dot here all you need to do is put class within the quotes after the class uh, attribute name right so here's our opening tag. There's no closing tag yet. There's attribute name, attribute value, attribute name, attribute value. Okay, after class we do, let's do data action. And let's call this increment. Now I'm gonna be adding some of the uh, attributes which are not going to be directly assigned to anything, but I want to have them so we can work with them to practice our locators. Then let's do roll. Here we will say a button. Now the opening tag is, uh, we're closing it. It automatically added the closing tag right here. Here we will put the text that will be displayed in the button. So let's say click me. Very obvious, right? Here's our click me button um, okay perfect let's add counter uh, so there's going to be container div so essentially like a new line we will give it id uh, counter so this is going to be used for like testing id and class for styling the same thing we use here counter style so we can use counter style so this is the class to get the parameters for the text size and stuff next one is data dash counter equals number all right close this and let's have a starting value zero okay so here is the page uh, all we need to really add is the script. I'm not going to add script right away. I just want to see the visuals for the page. Uh, so let's go ahead and install extensions. In extensions, go and type live server. And you will see live server, uh, development local server. Let's click install. Okay. The live server was added. If I go back to Explorer and click me, right click it, you see open with live server, hit that and it's going to open our page. It shows the port where it created it. So you can see started at port 5501 um, and let's take a look at the page. So here it is, button click counter, here's our title, click me HTML, here's the name of the file. Uh, click me HTML, here's the name of the file, and here's our click me button. So nothing's happening yet. So we have this web page, we have the styles, we have the text. Uh, we need to add the script. 
in order for it to work, we need to add the script. So the script is going to be a very simple script, a counter. Let's go back and open uh, click me HTML. All right, I'm going to minimize the styles here. Also press control minus to zoom out a little bit. So you want to place script again, typically in a big page when everything's managed script would be like a separate file css will be a separate file on this simple page everything's going to be within one html so at the very end of the body uh, you want to add script so open for the tagged angle brackets for the tag and say script and close it so here inside we'll have script why it's normally placed at the end of the body you want the page to load first so the page will load and then it will start calling the scripts okay all right let's do a let count equals zero so here we'll have our variable where we're going to store the counter value now let's create const uh, button so this is variable we're going to store our button and we have to grab this button somehow so to grab the button we need to say document and then get element by ID. So it will go in our page, in our document. This is the, this whole thing is a document and it will grab element by ID. And if we're grabbing a button, right? Uh, we need to provide the ID that we use for the button element. So that would be click button, right? So let's provide this in parentheses and quotes, click button. Uh, so this is the first thing that we need. And the second thing is the counter, right? So because we're going to do something with the counter, we're going to increase the counter every time we click on the button. So let's create a variable uh, for the counter. So const counter document, again, same thing, get element by ID and it's going to be counter. So here's our element right here, counter. All right. So we're almost done with the script. Now we need to write a simple function. So button, this button that we have, button dot and uh, some action on click. So whenever we click on the button, something should be happening. What we're gonna have here? Well, we're gonna have here a function. So button on click equals function. And we don't pass any parameters here. So just empty parentheses. And within the curly braces, we add what should be happening. So count plus plus. So increase count by one. So this value, count, right? And then update counter dot inner text to be equal to count. So counter this guy right here, this element. This is the inner text of the counter right here. We will be updating it to the value of the count and the value of the count will be increased by one. This is what count plus plus means. Every time we click on the button and the button is the click button. All right, let's save it. Um, and let's open it one more time open with live server. Okay, so this wasn't the working version, this is the newer version. Now, every time I'm going to click on this button, the counter is gonna go up. The function is gonna execute and the counter is gonna go up. So this is essentially the web page that we need to practice some of the selectors to understand how we can select different elements uh, using different methods. So let's build this, have this running then we will move to the next video. And if you want the page, so here it is, with the styles expanded, you can pause the video and just retype this whole thing and then launch it with the live server. So it should work for you. All right, so this was Alex USA Days and I'll see you in the next video.